So you've just purchased the iOS Smart Sleeve or you're thinking about purchasing it, great. In this video, we're gonna show you a tutorial of how to start using it. So first things first, uh, before anything, what you wanna make sure is that you have the iOS Smart Sleeve app. I'll leave a link in the description to both iOS and Android stores so you can download it there. Create an account, the setup is super easy. It takes like a minute. So go ahead and do that. So once you've done that, you're gonna get this box here. So first things first, on the box is gonna be some information regarding the size, the color, uh, your name, the date that it was uh, cleared by our inspection team, and also the link where you can get the manual. So you're gonna get the box. First things first, you're gonna see the device. Okay, and right on the device, you're gonna see full charge before use is required. Okay, so the device actually comes, uh, doesn't come fully charged, uh, it's always on. So you're just gonna wanna make sure that you plug it in and give it a charge. That's the device. Then we open up this portion and you get the IO Smart Sleeve. And right on the package, you're gonna see it says sleeve is not refundable once open. That's obviously for sanitary reasons. Same reason you wouldn't return underwear, right? Or you can't, you may try to, but Anyway, then you have the charger. This is a USB, simple, can plug into your laptop or you know, pretty much every single phone comes with an adapter, a wall adapter that you can use it. So very convenient. You get the connector clip. This is for the electrocardiogram and uh, HRV, which we'll show you later. And then finally, two electrodes. Uh, you'll only use one, the second one is a spare. Once the other one is no good, each one, depending on your use, can be up to 50 to 75 times. So that just depends on use. So like I said, first things first, you're gonna wanna make sure the device is charged. Luckily I have charger plugged in here, handy. So you'll see on the back of the device, you'll see little holes there. They will connect to the holes on the charger. These are magnetic. You just touch, you'll hear a click and this light will turn orange. Once it's fully charged, that light is going to turn green, okay? So once it turns green, great, you're ready to use it. Another thing I would just recommend is to restart the device before you're using it. Another great tip here is when in doubt, restart the device. If you're experiencing issues of some sorts, that's usually the best first troubleshoot. So go ahead and do that. I'll show you how to do this. So let's look at the device this way, right? So with the two buttons on the top uh, facing up, I guess from this camera view. Now to restart, you'll see two buttons on the side, very small buttons. What you're gonna wanna do is hold the one on the bottom right. As we hold it, that light will go out. You see that? And then it'll come back on, okay? So that's good. We just did a little brief restart and now we're gonna connect to the app. Hopefully you can see this in the camera. If not, uh, I will do a screen recording of, uh, of the app and put it on the side. We'll, we'll show you the device here. So the other button, so we just hit the restart. The button on the other side is the Bluetooth Scan Connect button. This is gonna make the dis device discoverable in the Bluetooth settings on our app. Uh, another thing, the Bluetooth connection happens through our app. So it doesn't happen through your phone settings, whether it's iPhone or Android, okay? And uh, it makes the process a little bit easier, makes your Bluetooth device settings a little less convoluted. So that's why we go onto the app. So now we know what this button does. Now the button on the other side is the uh, scan connect button. So this is gonna make the device discoverable on the phone. So you click it, that light will turn orange. That means it is scanning. Then on the app, you just go into scan connect. You should see that device pop up. That's the Brighton HR. You hit connect and you'll see that light turn green, right? So the light turn, turns green, that means it's connected. Now we can go back. You'll see all the options now are available. So before we even use the sleeve, I just want you to familiarize yourself with the device and you go into the BPM. So before we do that, there's three modes that you'll see, right? Two main modes. First one is activity mode, which is under BPM. And the second one is health mode, which is under this ECG HRV button on the app. 
So first of all, we go into the BPM mode, that's the active mode, and simply hit start. And before you do that, you'll see on the reverse side, once you hit start, the sensors will start blinking, right? So you'll see the light flash, that's the optical sensor for the BPM, okay? So just simply give it a test, okay? So hit start, you'll see a little loading icon and just give it some time. I mean, this could take uh, a bit of time here. It turns out uh, it was fairly fast. You'll see my BPM there. Uh, it's fairly hot, high. Uh, these lights are these lights are killing me and I'm sweating. So that's why the circle in the middle, that's your SpO2, blood oxygen, saturation level. The third one is MET or as we call it, activity intensity. <clears throat> you'll see that one is at one right now. But if I start moving it around, you'll see that number go up. So that's great for any kind of intensity training and measuring the intensity and making sure that uh, it's growing depending on uh, the activity, of course. Okay, so <clears throat> another key thing before we move on, once you're done recording, always hit stop, okay? So don't try to, tr don't try to go back, and this is like with any apps, just make sure you hit stop uh, just to stop the sensor and then you can go about and go to go into different modes. Okay, so now that you've tested the device, you know it's working, everything's good. I'll talk a little bit about the sleeve, okay? And this is for uh, the health mode because there's a little bit more nuance there. So this is the sleeve, you open it up. Uh, right away, you're gonna see two buttons. You're gonna see two buttons at the bottom, the wrist area, and one clip at the top, okay? Now this, Inside, you'll see this strip, and on the inside, we actually have a connected wire, okay? And this is a very unique wire that's made up of silver and Kevlar, and you wanna make sure to be very careful when putting the sleeve on. Try not to pull it, uh, because it is sensitive material. It's fine once you have it on, and you're sweating, you're working out, or you're doing whatever you're doing, it's fine. Just when putting it on and stretching it out, uh, be very careful be mindful of that now when putting the device in it's very important how you actually place it inside the sleeve now for activity mode it's not that big of a deal you can pretty much place it anywhere because it's just an optical sensor and usually that can take it from anywhere you've seen other wearables whether it's rings or a headband you can get a bpm from anywhere anywhere using the optical sensor but with the ecg this is very important so you need to know that this this button this click this magnetic button is connecting to this wire that's connecting to the top. Okay, and now when we look at the device, we grab it like this again, <clears throat> notice that the top right clip here, that's an actual electrode, okay? This is just a dummy button to hold it in place inside the sleeve, so it's useless. So you wanna make sure that this button lines up with this, okay? And in this, it has to go in like so on the inside exactly like this so if i show it this is how it goes in and you'll just find it usually clips on pretty easily just like that okay so then when you're actually putting it on if we look at the reverse side this part is hitting your skin and these two are are connected inside okay so that's very important. You wanna make sure you know what the device is about, right? So again, actual electrode, dummy button, and then the electrode on the reverse side that's gonna be attached to your skin. Now for the second part, you have to attach the electrode to your chest. So we're gonna move over to the mannequin and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so now for probably the easiest part of this tutorial is gonna be the electrode placement. And uh, we have Ivan here to demonstrate. Uh, sorry, I had to do this too, buddy but uh, it's here uh, under his own volition, don't worry. Uh, so we have the device placed in the wrist area, right? Like we explained before, and it's connected. The other uh, connectors at the top, right? We talked about that as well. And now the electrodes that I mentioned early on, you're just gonna peel it off and you're gonna wanna stick it in this area here. It's pretty simple, it kind of right there. That's pretty good. And then you're gonna take the connector clip and you're gonna just connect 
one onto the sleeve and one onto the chest. Very easy. And you're just gonna tuck that away and that's it. So now that you've seen how the electrode connects to your chest and how to connect the clip, I'll show you on the app, super easy. Okay, so now that everything's in place, you got it on the wrist, you got the electrode attached, you simply go into the ECG HRV screen and just hit start. Uh, this acquiring a signal here takes very quick. And here you can see, uh, this is actually, I'm wearing this now, beautiful, a beautiful ECG right there. I'll try to show on the camera, it's gonna be on the side here too. So you have that, uh, it's gonna give you your BPM here on the left, your HRV in the middle, uh, again, MET on the other side. You wanna make sure that you're sitting still for the next portion, which is the HRV. So to take the HRV, you'll see the button in the middle. So you simply click, uh, you have to make sure you stay still during the HRV test. It takes two minutes because I'll show you right now what happens to the ECG if I'm moving around. You'll still see the ECG there, but it's not gonna be able to actually extract an HRV because it's looking at those peaks. So let's hit the HRV button. It says, are you sure you want to try an HRV test for two minutes? Just say, okay, two minutes. So you just wait. So now we got four, three, two, one, zero. Boom. Okay, and then you'll get your HRV score. We call it health score, but this is essentially a score out of five stars. Uh, high HRV is great. Low, not so much. Mine's pretty. Mine's pretty low right now. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm stressed out. I'm doing this video. <laughs> okay, and like I, like I said, for everything else, hit stop. Go back. So that's it, you can see pretty simple. There's gonna be some other videos where we're gonna go in depth on each of the modes and kind of give you tips on how to use those. This is just a startup guide. If you've made it this far in the video, I just wanna see how many people have. We're gonna offer an additional 10% off your order uh, with the code YouTube, okay? Use the code YouTube at checkout in the coupon area and yeah. Thanks for watching.